Howdy folks, Jody Marler, Fish Camp Custom, and today we are prepping these uh, mantles that we picked up in a previous video for install. We're gonna wire brush and sand these. These are super old pieces of white oak hand hewn and who knows what's happened along its journey to Livingston, Montana. We are looking to basically work these and clean them up and get them ready to put in the house. So you're gonna see a ton of nails in here. So what we wanna do, since we're not really cutting this stuff, we're just going to bury these nails a little bit further so we can work, you know, we can sand. It's not gonna tear up the sandpaper or the wire wheel, anything like that. Wire wheel, when you purchase these, they come with a nylon wheel. 99% of what we do is all with a steel wheel. They end up burnishing this wood and it just gives a really nice glow to it. By wire brushing this, we, we just get rid of that loose grain on there. And it pretty much gets the wood to the same color throughout, more consistent color. So what we're trying to do is just soften these edges. So, you know, over time as you're cleaning your mantles, you're setting different things on it, you're not just hanging everything up on it. Slivers and just cleaning, you know, leaving lint and towel parts all over it. Just trying to take off some of the loose material and just bring out some of that, little more of that yellow in there. This, I always like to have these, these mortise pockets out. It just gives, tells its own little story. So this, I think, will be our face. Uh, and this will be the top. Right now we're gonna rough size the, uh, the mantle. So it's a lot easier to work with, it's easier to roll. As you see, we've got some of this rod at the end. We need to get rid of that. So what I wanna do is make a shallow cut from the underside. If I just went straight through and cut this, it's gonna splinter the whole face of it off. I'm gonna to continue to clean these up, work these. Should take a couple hours to do and get it ready for I think we're going to ultimately stain these. Sometimes you just put a lacquer on it or a clear finish and it just lights it up enough. So, you know, with these cutoffs, we'll be able to uh, use those as samples. And, uh, but yeah, got a little bit of work ahead of me. So what we're looking to do, this is basically the same material. It's a white oak as well. Uh, you can see the mortise pockets that we actually put back in there just because. We band sawed uh, the faces off of, you know, four-sided hewn logs and got the skins as we call them and uh, basically veneered them to this. It's not, it's not all that easy, but the point I'm trying to make is it was the same really rough material. And right now it's super smooth. You know, we kind of eased all of the ads marks, the uh, ax marks, um, you know, just soften it for everyday use. So this is what we're looking to do. We'll probably do the same exact stain and lacquer uh, as we did here. And uh, this is what we're looking to uh, match. We're here at the house and I want to uh, show you the finished product. I want to show, these are the samples that we talked about, the cutoffs from these mantles. And what we ended up doing, we talked about putting a stain on it, but what we actually ended up doing is putting what's called a Brie Wax. It's a great material that you can put basically over anything. You know, that's the burnished from the uh, wire brush right there. So I want to do, put a little bit of uh, Brie Wax on there and just show 
a lot of different ways to apply this, but I like using a brush, especially for this really coarse material. Just kind of work it into the grain. We're only going to do one side. Again, these are just cut off, so they don't necessarily matter. And you see that, how that color really comes through on there. And it just gives it some real depth. You know, and it, again, it, it is a wax, so it has kind of a slickness to it. And it also has a nice sheen to it. So you see that difference there. <laughs> you know, this is in its raw state and this is with the uh, wax on it. It actually adds, makes it easier to clean and uh, just kind of maintain over time. Again, it changes that color without seeping into the wood. It basically sits on the surface um, and leaves it a lot easier to maintain. So if you have any questions about the process on how we do these, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a, leave a comment um, and of course, subscribe if you could. But uh, more importantly, let us know how you like it. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.